Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm right in my hands. This is Death Note Short Stories, a uh, grouping of, not really grouping, collection of a bunch of short stories about the Death Note world. Uh, it's from jo Shonen and Jump Edition. Stories by Sugumi Oba, uh, art by Takeshi Obata. And let's see here. Translation by Akira Shiwawa, lettering by Gia Cam Luke. And there's other more. There's translation also by Stephen Paul, Touch Up and Lettering, by James Gobbitz. Um, so this is a complete collection of Death Note short stories penned by the series creators and discovered uh, discover tales of lives irre irrevocably changed by the sinister influence, influence of the Death Note with surprising and thrilling answers to the question of what it truly takes to use the Death Note or fight it. Contains stories C. Kira, A. Kira, the Death Note pilot chapter, vignettes of L's life, and more. All right, so I generally, I think I've read like maybe one or two Death Note things. Like I don't know tons about Death Notes. If you ask me who L was, I would look at you and go, I, it's a letter in the alphabet. I don't know it well enough to like really go into the details, but I kind of know the general sense of there's this notebook, you put names in it, uh, you can maybe describe how the person dies and the person winds up dying. All right, I know all that. So this is a bunch of short stories set in that world, different people getting the Death Note and how they deal with it. And I think it's actually pretty cool. Uh, generally, um, you know, the, when I first read the first story, like, I didn't feel like I knew enough about the Death Note to really appreciate it. But once you start getting into, I think, the that the latter part of the first story and you definitely get into the second and like further into it you don't really need to know or you've learned enough i don't know which it is but i at that point i didn't quite feel like i i was missing a lot of details and and was behind uh reading it uh overall like i i really enjoy enjoy this like i think it's a really cool manga um i i like the ideas of a whole bunch of short stories set in this world um generally you didn't need to know tons uh to like really appreciate it or you just learn enough to to appreciate it some of the stories i think were really really good i mean there's one that's a highlight of um a kid who's supposed to be like one of the brightest kids in japan is presented with the death note and he comes up with a way to use it uh, with some really interesting twists and turns in that. And I, I really like that sort of story. It felt very uh, Twilight Zone to me with the, you know, there's some there's some um, lessons to be learned here. And just, like, it's just a really... It went in directions I wasn't expecting. And I, I think overall, like, I really, really enjoyed it uh, and appreciate it because of that. So it, it's cool because of that. I, um, overall, I mean, it, I don't know if this is necessarily a great place to, to dive into to for your first time experiencing Death Note, but it's not that bad uh, to do that. You know, it, it doesn't feel like there's tons of continuity that you really need to know. Um, there's maybe L is like the only thing that really kind of stood out of like, what the hell is this? Um, and that beyond that, like, I think everything else is pretty easy to get and understand. And, and it does a decent job of explaining things beyond the L thing. Um, and eventually that you kind of catch on. Uh, so for me, who's not really super familiar with Death Note, like, I, I really dig it. I think it's, uh, it's entertaining. It, it's some solid, um, some solid writing, um, some really interesting stories. And overall, like, it seems like it plays in the world, but doesn't force you to really, really, uh, stick to continuity to the point, like, you need to know all these little stories or what happened in volume, blah, blah, blah. Like, there might be stuff I'll get in here and that you might appreciate it more if you know those things, but I don't, and I generally, like, enjoy the story, so, um, or enjoy the stories. It's, it's good. Uh, so this has been out for a little bit. Uh, you can go get it in from your local comic shop. Uh, we got a link beneath this video. Open your zip code. Tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links to get a small percentage by doing that to support our site. So thank you. And speaking of support, I want to thank Viz Media for opening us up with this review copy. And of course, thank you all for watching. If you are into manga, if you're into comics, graphic novels, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading that manga. And keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games. 
you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.